What's up, guys? Uh, help here on Saturday morning again, just playing catch up. Just wanted to take a minute to thank everybody for the awesome month we had last month. Last month was our record month that we have ever had since we've been in business. That includes Black Fridays. That includes, you know, all that stuff. It just, it the sales well exceeded any of that. And it just, it boggles our mind that the nation can have so much unrest with the virus and the George Floyd stuff and you know, everybody arguing, you can't even get on social media and see any car stuff anymore, Harley, for somebody sharing a riot post or some kind of junk like that. And yet our sales are still out the roof. People are still doing race car stuff. And it's just, it's awesome. We love it. Uh, a lot of people have been discouraged because they ain't been able to go to the tracks. Uh, the way... The way I've been looking at it is focus a little bit more time on building your car. Take care of some of them things that you would maybe push off to the next year because you can't go race. Uh, it's kind of it's kind of helped us with uh, my wife's car, especially, you know, be able to address some things and really focus in and optimize the setup because we do have more time and we're not trying to rush around and make every race on the schedule so take a little bit of extra time if you're not able to race and just put it into your race car you know don't sit around and be mad because you can't race just uh use that energy to do some things that needed to be take took care of you know years ago on your race car so again thank you everybody for the the just the awesome support and keeping us going we're you know slowly growing as always here recently uh our chassis guy jacob he had to uh part ways with us as far as hands-on stuff in the shop because his tube manufacturing business has got you know it's got as busy as any anybody who's in business for herself if you do good work you're gonna have more business than you can do and you have to grow at a rate where you can manage that or you'll screw it up for yourself. So he's had to step away from helping us hands-on in the shop to focus on taking care of what he's got going on in his tube manufacturing business. And he's still going to be helping us out, manufacture the roll cages and you know various other pieces of tube work that we send him. But as far as hands-on here in the shop, he's not going to be helping us anymore so it's back to just me and joey our waiting list is still closed we're not taking in any new work until we can get a handle on our black on our i say black log our backlog that is it's over a year long right at the current moment with just what work we can get done so in the future we'll probably bring somebody else on with us that can be with us full time you know uh, and help us with some of these car projects but for right now we're just trying to focus on keeping our reputation good keeping the products going out the door quick that are on the website and uh, just focusing on what we've got on the waiting list and one of those cars we are just about done with out here in the shop uh, Rob Melcher it's a Fox body turbo car so we're going to go out here and check it out and again thanks everybody for the support This is Rob Melcher's Fox Body. He's from South Carolina. It's a 1980 model, four-eyed car. These are becoming more popular. Very clean, simple setup. We have the shear fab intake. We've got an 88 millimeter precision, I believe it is. Big precision blow off valve. Stainless V-band housing. Got a big 66 millimeter wastegate, I believe it is. This surf setup turned out really nice. We got the hooker manifold set up. This is actually the first car that I have used one of these, or worked with one of these setups. Just a single feed into the turbo. Pretty straightforward. This car was here several months ago for our tube front. This is 
showcasing our outer bar style, which stays along the fender line all the way down. We got the Maven turbo support under there, which Rob provided. He also wanted us to attach the support tube to his engine block. So we snaked it down there and bolted it to the, where the AC compressor used, would be. Again, setup turned out really nice. We fitted the motor plates in whenever we did the tube front. That was his original motor plate. And we knew it would fit the oil pan and stuff that he had on, or was going to use on this build. So we put it back to the tube front and then we fixed a mid plate in there for him. Uh, something that's becoming more of a common thing for us to do is run the exhaust out the rear on these turbo setups. A lot of these class rule makers are making it, are trying to get cars of this caliber not to be able to run. So they make it where it's really tough to get the exhaust out to the rear or make a rule where you have to go to the B pillar. But anything can be done the four inch aluminum running all the way back to the B pillar. Let's see if we can raise the, raise the car up just a little bit and I'll show you how we snake it through the K member. It was a tight fit, but he was able to do it. Actually got a B-band connection right there. And they can take it off. Get the O2 sensor bone right down there. Uh, IT sensor underneath, so visually it's not just gaudy hanging off the side. The only things we have left to do, still gotta put a back pressure sensor in here, and we have to make a throttle cable bracket off the bottom of the intake, so it will pull down like that. Uh, also have to take the throttle body off, and lock tight the screws. That's always a good idea. Either lock tight or weld them slightly because you don't want them backing out. But this is gonna be a sweet little ride. Uh, look for him in South Carolina at some of the local races and traveling around because this project's about wrapped up. So again, guys, thank you for a great month last month. We'll come to you with another video when we get closer to wrapping up some of these other projects. See you next time.